my name is Ezekiel Fabiano and I'm a Portuguese but uh, I have been working with CCF for the last five years as a research assistant working mostly with the ecology department and more lately with genetics. I also help running the cheetah conservation um, courses uh, both the, the biology course as well as the integrated livestock management courses. Within the genetic department, I'm working on three main projects right now. Um, the first project we are working on is the developing a method based on SCAD to be able to identify cheetahs and then using that be able to estimate their numbers. So that's our, one of the major questions. The second major question is really trying to get a better insight of the, the reproductive system of the species we focus in the wild, of course. And the third question is really has a broader um, um, scope because we're trying to look and compare the genetic diversity not only within Namibia but ac across its, its range. Uh, the third question is really relevant because um, it hasn't been done before, number one, but second, it's really important because um, it needs for the conservation of the species for the range. Uh, genetics plays a critical role, which we feel it is a very important piece of information. Like many other carnivores, the species uh, faces multiple threats, including the human wildlife conf conflict being the primary reason. Another threat is the loss of habitat and prey. And thirdly, which could be unique to the species, not necessarily, is its low genetic diversity that is believed to have or that is due to a bottleneck that its species underwent about 10 to 12,000 years ago. However, whether the species will go extinct due to the genetic, poor genetic diversity or not, has been highly debated. Therefore, we would like to retest this hypothesis using more advanced molecular tools to estimate with greater precision where, um, when and how severe was this bottleneck event. We are revisiting the hypothesis that the cheetah did go for a bottleneck uh, from, two from two standpoints. The first one is really from a pure research question whereby we really just want to shed more light into this debate of whether it did or not. And a second reason for it, it's really because if the species, and we expect actually to see that the species did go for a bottleneck, it may have less genetic diversity to be able to adapt to future changes, which makes, makes the species more susceptible to extinction. Well, I started working with cheetahs in a very random basis. Um, initially, I, my interest was in computer science, but uh, during my undergraduate, we had to do double major, so I took some courses in ecology, and I became more interested in ecology and conservation issues. After my undergraduate, I did a conservation wildlife management course that the cheetah conservation offered in conjunction with the university. And after that, um, Dr. Laurie Marker invited me to come and join them, and I gladly accepted. And it has been a very exciting five years um, trying to help save a species by applying some of my knowledge. <laughs>